Okay, let's say that you realize that the person you're dating, or even married to, is just not the person you want to be with anymore. So you do what you should do. You try to talk about breaking up, and then the partner says, forget it. I will never let you go. I'm not about to let it go just because we got a problem. She'll never escape. I will find her. I will find the kids. Uh, he doesn't let me wear makeup. I look like a whore, he says. Who'd you sleep with last night? They're operating between their legs. I'd rather be there than be with him. It's a game she's playing. She tells me to leave and then she tells me to come back. Why did you sleep uh, with somebody did... else while you were with her if you loved her it was, it was, so much? It's like our relationship over and through. Well, are you gonna like change? Of course I will. You know that. Let me try that. I want you to meet my first guests. This is Justine and Karen. Justine says she has been trying to break up with her boyfriend, Chris, and Chris will not let her go. How big a problem is this? Well, Justine says that Chris has actually threatened to kill her and Karen, who happens to be Chris's own sister. Now, I want to assure you of something. Chris is waiting backstage, and Justine, he cannot hear what we're talking about. There's no way. So before we bring him out, I'm going to ask you to tell me about your relationship with Chris in an honest way, knowing he can't hear you, and why you've been trying to end it, and what the problem's been all about. Um, it's based on manipulation and mm -hmm. um, mental abuse and... You're how old now? I just turned 22. And you've been with him for how long? Five years. Okay. You've tried to leave him before. What happened? Um, manipulation. I had restraining orders. Nothing. He just... He won't let you go. What does he say to you? Oh, everything. Uh, I'm going to kill you. Um, you better come back. He brings up our daughter. We have a daughter together. One child together? One daughter. How old is she? She's three. Why does your brother do this? Uh, he's... I'm not allowed to have... He's... She's not allowed... I don't know why he does it. He's got this weird way of thinking. He doesn't let her have any friends. And he thinks that, well, he can get me out too, right? But no, I just keep coming back because he, he can't get rid of his own sister. Of course not. He... Justine, you told us that he actually hides your shoes. <laughs> He says to me... So that you uh, can't go out and he won't let you wear makeup. <laughs> we had to put makeup on her today without his permission. <laughs> and uh, will not let her fix her hair. Now, does this man love you or does he just want to control you? Um, I think he loves me deep down inside, but it's based on a lot of different factors. It's based on the fact... Okay, uh, okay. Hey! Um... <laughs> Sorry. It's based on control. Uh, like, yeah, I do allow him to control me. And basically, I mean, I don't know. It's, it's Does so she really want to get away? Um, sometimes I think, yes, she does. No, no, no seriously, do they you want to. believe in your heart that he uh -huh. wants to change? Yeah. Tell me. Tell me what changes you want him to make. Give it to me straight. What changes want, do you want him to make? I don't want his controlling, telling me what I can, can't do, when I can do it. I want him to have a very open relationship because I am faithful to him. I always will be. As long as he can give me the respect that I deserve, I will not, uh, I won't stand for his behavior anymore. I'm 22. When I was younger, I was 17. First boyfriend, you know, the whole thing, right? And now I've wised I'm, up. I'm getting the same mixed message that your friend is getting. Do you want him in your life or out of your life? I want him in my life if he can change. If he can change, we can have a good relationship. But if he's not going to change, I don't want it anymore, and I'm out of here, and I'm, I'm through with the relationship. He's not going to change, Justin. Thank you. been waiting backstage. Let's hear Chris's side of the story. Come on out, Chris. Okay. Chris, 
notice you don't have a lot of people who are fond of you in this, uh, this audience. <laughs> How old are you, Chris? I'm 21 years old. Who am I talking to? Talking to me, Chris. I'm, I'm sorry, standing right over here. That's all right. What's the problem? Uh, well, I think that it was fairly unfair that I wasn't able to hear what these guys had to say she about She asked, me. she asked that you not hear. That's not our decision. We allow guests to make a decision if they want somebody to hear or not want somebody to hear. Would you like me to tell you why she didn't want you to hear? I'd like that, yeah. Okay, she's afraid of you. Who is? Who? Justine? Yeah. She felt if you heard what she really thought or what she really had to say, that in some way you'd take it out on her. So she didn't want you to hear because she's afraid of you. I honored that respect. How about honoring me, Sally? I will let you say whatever you'd like to say. Are well, you afraid was, of her? No, are was, you I afraid of her? I was going to be back there to hear what she had to say. And at the last minute, I was told, no, she's already saying what she wants to say, and I don't get to hear you got to watch your language or you have me to put up with. Right. Hello. <laughs> so now that we've gotten that over, Chris, I eat 21-year-old boys for breakfast. <laughs> 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 Planks. You have been, you have been with her for five years. That's right. Yeah. What is this bit about uh, hiding her shoes or not letting her wear makeup or not letting her uh, do her hair? What is all this nonsense? Uh, he doesn't let me wear makeup. I look like a whore. He says. What's that about, Chris? That's untrue. Oh, okay. Whatever. First of all, I just have to say, you need to <laughs> get off the pot, okay? <laughs> and as far as you willing to change him, you have to be willing to change yourself. Number one, you're not his property. He doesn't own you. That's you was already <laughs> raised, okay? You was already raised once by your mother. And if you can't accept you for who you are, if you feel like you want to wear makeup and put on a dress and wear your hair down, that's what you're supposed to do. You are 22 years old, and you're a grown woman. He is not your father. Thank you. That's supposed to be your lover. OK. Do we have uh, any trouble here with Karen? Christopher, your sister says that uh, you are not doing what's best for Justine. Your well, sister that, that, honestly feels that That's right. my sister's opinion. Uh, my sister and I have a lot of problems going way back to when we were children, okay? Um, I love my sister dearly, but I think that it's almost time that if Justine and I are going to get some help, we're going to work things out, then maybe Justine and I should be together and without the uh, sidekick. Oh, sidekick? I'm her best friend. I help her deal with her problems. She's so stressed out, Chris. You know, what you do to her. Hey, what would I, what I do to her? Mentally. What, what concern is that of yours? You're my sister. She's my because best friend. Because you're my brother. And I can't believe you treat people that way. You're I mean, my blood, Karen. You shouldn't be doing this to me here, grilling me like this. You oh, know what this is going to do to me. Whatever, Chris, whatever. Yes. I mean... Justine, she's too good Justine, for you. Justine, he's not going to change. And if not for yourself, do it for your child. That's right. So he's going he's gonna to do the same thing? Justine. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. This is going to be much, okay? Chris, I want you to stop controlling me, bombarding me, uh, mm -hmm. mentally attacking me, and telling me what I can do. We have to have an open relationship. I'm guilty We're both of that. Young. I'm admitting that You're I'm guilty of that. Boyfriend. I'm overbearing, okay? Okay, I'm sorry. Continue. You're my first boyfriend, Chris, and I do love you, I'm but... I'm your first boyfriend. Well, like, my first real serious relationship. Yeah, if it's serious, what the hell are you doing? <laughs> Please, 
I, you don't understand. Okay, yeah. look, if you have to like get a grip, hey, just or uh, we're, uh, we're our relationships through. Okay, but uh, it's not like uh, it's over and done with, you know. <laughs> What, is it done right now? Is, like, our relationship over and through? Well, are you gonna, like, change? Of course I will, Justine, you know How that. How many times have you said that? How many times Go ahead, your turn. You guys are just okay. a bunch of bloodthirsty uh... vultures, is what you are. <laughs> You're boosting her ratings, going boo. You're making my life hell. You're boosting her ratings. She's happy, I'm not, you know? It's not the truth. It's not the truth. Okay. It's not the sure. truth. All I right. don't need you, punk, for my ring. <laughs> Perfect point on which to take a break. We'll be back with more. Next, this man has told his girlfriend, you'll never find anyone better than me, and if you do, I'll kill you both. She is determined, however, to get him out of her life. What will he say when he finds out she's now pregnant with his child? We'll find out next. What do you think? Does Chris really love Justine, or does he just want to control her? When we come back, we're going to show you what happened between them during the commercial break, and you won't believe it. See, that wasn't so bad. Why can't you hug me back? I feel like such a fool, man. If you don't hug me, I'm taking off right this second. I'm taking off if you don't hug me. Right now. Step forward, honey. Step forward. Step forward. Thanks. Justine, I am begging you, as my best friend, to hug me right now. I am begging you. Begging you. Hug me. Don't worry about it. Let's calm down. Let's mellow hug out. Me. Hug me. Chris, we're not. Hug me. Sally. You gonna hold my hand? What? You gonna hold my hand? You're acting really tough. Are you gonna hold my hand? <laughs> Am I in this alone, Justine? No, you're not. Then hold my hand. I'm so scared, man. Um, calm down. I can't even talk. I'm so scared. Are you gonna hold my hand? I'm out of here, man. I will take off right now. If you don't hold my hand and make me look like a man, make me look like a man, Justine, for everything Chris, I've ever done. TV. Then please, stop please it, forgive me. Please stop. I will never forgive you. I will never forgive you. This is a television show. This is my life. Today we're talking about uh, people letting go. What's what are you fighting about during the break, Justine? Um, we're watching you. So what? The fact that I wasn't able to hear anything when I was upstairs. And I was told I was going to be behind here to hear what she had to say so I could defend myself, Sally. I didn't mean to... What is it that you think she said that you didn't hear? Uh, the thing is, I don't know. I Who just told what you said? what she said. I told you every single thing that she said. She did, did my not sister say... say anything? Yes, your sister agreed with her that. 100%. I did not know that. Nobody told me that. Okay, there is nothing that she said that I haven't told you as of this moment. Okay? Nothing. You keep harping on that you didn't hear something. If you want, Justine, turn to him and tell him once more what you said. Tell him again. I'm not going to tolerate the behavior anymore. And if you're not going to, I'm like, I mean, like, really quick. Like, the minute we get back to the airport, you better get some counseling. The airport? Wherever. I don't care. I can't take it. OK, how about you? I'm 22 years old. OK, I feel every, like I'm does 40. everybody here believe that she's perfect? I think she needs some help okay, to okay, do for him. OK, OK, OK. Let's give her a hard time for a while, OK? I've got some questions. OK? Go. You said these things about me, right? They're all true, Chris. OK. Let's Who'd you lines. sleep with last night? Oh, oh my God! <laughs> Who'd you sleep with the night before? Where do I live? <laughs> Not with me, but... Pardon me? We did sleep. I live with you, Justine. No, I you live don't. nowhere else. Who did you sleep with last night? You. Who'd you sleep with the night before? You. 
We're, we had dinner together last night, and she's saying this sort of thing now. That's why I'm upset that I wasn't Wait able to hear anything. Oh. Okay, like, hold because down. it's no, it's one thing from her. She tells me, "Oh, I love you, I love you, I love you, I love you. Everything's good. We'll go no. home. We'll give Corey this shirt we bought at the Hard Rock Cafe. Because Everything's she good." All right, now let me ask Karen a question. Did your brother ever threaten you? Yes. As a matter of fact, last night. What did he say? He's gonna break my face if I say anything. Mm. If you, I would call that's that. A that's a complete lie. <laughs> that is bull. Uh, let me tell you why. Sorry. No, sorry, Karen. I did not say that. You know you did. You're such a liar. See, look at Justine with Justine, that face. Justine, you know? we put you in different hotel rooms last night. Why did you sleep with him? If you slept with him, he had to be in the mm -hmm. same hotel. Well, can you help me out here? You, you put us on the same flight, next seat, right beside each other. What? You put us on the same flight. For four uh, hours. At your request. Chris has a very good way of But we talking. also put you in different hotels. That's right. Why did you stay in the same hotel? It's a simple question. Yeah, she came to my hotel. I didn't go to her hotel. <laughs> you came to ours last you night. Followed us yeah, because you guys City. had two beds and a TV. We watched a good movie last night. We lied in bed for about four hours. We lied in bed. We had a nice romantic evening watching television and room service. You know, it was great. You guys have me pictured as some sort of Stand monster, up. you There's know? There's a like, problem we got problems. If, Nobody if, in here has problems, No, right? but if just says vultures. there is a problem, there is a problem. I, Christopher, I'd like to know why you're here today. Hello, Christopher? Hi. Hi. I'd like to know why you're here today. <laughs> I can't hear you. Why so. are you here today? Uh, well, because I was invited by Sally. I've never seen New York, and uh, it's not to be on TV or be humiliated, believe me, okay? It's, it's not to help your relationship? Is, you came here to see New of York and to be on TV? Why else would I do this? I don't know. It's, I'm trying to find out. Well, it's pretty apparent that that's going to happen between us, right? I, oh, no, it's well, is not. Well, is this program to destroy me or help us? Help. help. Thank you. We that's help. why I'm here. That's why I'm here. I knew that, you know? I'm not here to humiliate myself, ruin my own life, okay? I'm here because we need help. I now want you to meet Ahmed. She says she has been trying to break up with her boyfriend, Danny, who is waiting backstage for months. Uh, Danny has sworn to her that he will never let her go. True, Ahmed? True. I know that Danny has said that if you were with another man, he'd kill you both. He has done more than that. He has actually locked me up in a bathroom, put out a gun, put it in my head. He has told me he will never let go. Um, he has abused me, he has beaten me, and I've just had it. Okay. He what has, has happened when you have, has this always been violent? He has always been violent. Now, now it's getting better, but he has always been violent. What have you done to try and get away from him? I've. Put, I, I took out a restraining order. Um, they arrested him. He got bailed out by his family. And he gets out at 5 o'clock. At 5.30, he was in through my window in my apartment. Oh, so you thought you were getting rid of me. You thought it was going to be that easy. There ain't no way in hell I'll let go of you, even if I have to kill you. Now I've come up to the point that I'm better off dead. I'd rather be dead than be with him. Wow. Sounds like he's uh, a very jealous person, which in fairness many people are. Does he have a reason to be jealous? He has no reason. If anything, I got plenty of reasons. He, um, we've been together for four years, and just last, in May the 5th of this year, I just found out that he had an affair with a prostitute. He told me he used the condom, and it was a one-night thing. When I went and found out, she didn't use no condom. He had a three-month-old child. Jesus. A child which, because of the love I feel for him and um, the way I'm trying to work things out, I'm taking care of this child. I'm supporting this child. The mother abandoned him, and I, I, went, I picked him up. What do you want us to help you with? To get away. Do you want to get away? I need to get You're away. You're not like Justine. It's not like he'll change. You want to get He's away. He's not going to change. OK. If any. <laughs> Bring Danny on out. Let's hear what he has to say about all this. Danny, come on out. Ahmed, do you want me to tell him for you that it's over? Is that what you want me to do? You can do it all time, I'm sorry. 
Kill him. It's over. I'm not putting up with your bull anymore. I'm not supporting your child anymore. I'm not gonna stay with you so you could have 20, 20 more children mm -hmm. and bring them to me. I'm yeah, not okay. having it. She tells me now she doesn't want to be with me. Tonight, she will be calling me. If I, if I go to the mall, she will be, be call calling you. Because it happens be all the time. You. Why leave? I've been with her for four years. I got a daughter. Well, why leave? I'm not going to leave because she's, uh, it's a game she's playing. She tells me to leave and then she tells me to come back. I'm not going to play these games. I want to stay where I'm at. That's it. Nobody's going to tell me to leave. She's not going to tell me to leave because she's just going to call me back a couple hours Ain't later. Ain't nobody going to call you back because oh, I am not supporting you. You always your call I'm not me gonna back. Put up with your I always call, call you me back. back. You sweating yourself. You think you're all good. Anybody sweating my back? I sweat myself. I could do. You, he always tells me that I Patience. can't. Patience. Go. I think that you have been used to being in these controlling relationships for so long and that you might be free to get out. There's so much else out there and you have to find courage within yourself to get out of these relationships. You know, they're abusive, they're controlling, and you're used to the controlling factor, but you have to realize that you could be in another relationship where it's a 50-50 thing and these people are not going to abuse you. It's I think you're talking to the women, into. right? Yeah. Yeah. It's a cycle that you get into and you're used to it and you don't know any other way, but you have to have the courage. Maybe you'll be alone for a while, but, you know, if you get through that, there's so many better things out there. And your whole life will be improved. Ahmed, Ahmed, one last question for this session. Is Danny correct that you will take him back? I have taken him back. After he, after he slept with a prostitute, I took him back. I took his child thinking that he was going to change. None of this has mattered to him. Now, she every said, time, he, he's convinced that I, I would changed. take him the back. Other day, the other day, I got, I got home. We were arguing about some because we were in our friend's I'm house. I'm not talking to you. I'm talking to Ahmed. Will you oh. take him back now? No. You will not? No. Oh, I, I think, about that. Ahmed, there's something you want to tell Danny. Tell him your reason for not going back. The reason I'm not going back with you and that I swear on my kids that you abuse so much and, and bother them so much is that I'm pregnant again. Congratulations. You're going to have five kids and you don't take care of any of them. You don't have to worry about if I, I take care of my kids. I take them. care of my daughter. Don't take care the, of the, the, one the, you girl, the girl I got with you, that's the one you got to worry about. The boy that you you wanted him. I, said, I wanted him. She, he was fine where he was at. You're the one I wanted to bring him over. I didn't want to. Because the mother is a dope addict. She, she got taken, they took him away from her. What are weeks. you going to do now, Ahmed? I'm leaving. He, I want him to help me move out and to leave. There she goes. She wants to help her move out and then to leave. So she's gonna, she's not leaving me today. She's gonna wait till I get paid and she's gonna wait till Friday till I move her, then to leave. Wake That's up. what she's gonna do. She, it ain't gonna work like that because you know what? I'll be sleeping in that same bed in the same apartment when we go there because no, I ain't won't. going no place because you're gonna call me back anyway. Ain't nobody even, calling even if you. I, I don't care. Oh, you say life. that now. I do, I do want you to now. help me move up. Let's see what, what really is going on here. A lot of it's kind of complicated for us to understand. So we'll take a break, and uh, just before we get some help for you, we want to meet another couple. She keeps telling him, I don't love you, I don't want you in my life. He says, again, I'll never let you go. Guess what else? He has bought her an engagement ring. They're going to both be here right after this break. Don't get mad at me, don't get don't mad at me. Don't insult me. I'm sorry, you're beautiful. You look wonderful. You look wonderful. Well, I would say it's pretty complicated and very confusing. It's hard for us to know what, I think we are more confused by the women, are we not, than we are by the men? Very difficult. Let's see if we can make some sense out of this by the end of the hour. Casey has been with her boyfriend, David, for five years. She says that he treats her well and helps her support the three children that she has from her first marriage. Is there a problem? The problem is Casey says she just doesn't love David and she has told him so. David says he'll never let Casey go. Casey, you don't love him? In a way I do, but not like I used to. I've spent a long time trying to evaluate between the, the love that I used to feel and what I have now. It's what do you have now? Anger and hate. Why are you angry with him? Because of all the pain that I've been through. <coughs> and Tell me what that means. Well, we've been together five years and it's been ups and downs. We've broken up five or six times. My children go from calling him daddy one day to not being his daughters the next. 
you know, not being able to call him <laughs> daddy. It's been rough and it's been a lot, it's been really hard on me. We've had a lot of fights and me being taken out of my house and put into a shelter because I couldn't stay because, there. Because what kind of, of fights? Violent fights, <coughs> a lot of hitting and carrying on and the cops being called and so forth. <laughs> was he on drugs? He was in the beginning. Is he on drugs now? No, he hasn't been on drugs in probably about two or three years. Are the fights Yay. still continuing after the two or three years? <laughs> Why don't I look um, at the positive points? They <laughs> haven't continued Animals. because I just really don't let them continue. I'm, I'm more or less. Okay, you told us that you don't have a job, you don't have a car, and you don't really leave your house. No. Okay. I just Are you staying there because you feel trapped yes. with David? What do you want to have happen? I'm going to ask you the same as I asked Justine and Ahmed. What do you want to have happen? I want a better life. I want my children to be able to have a, a decent father, and I want to be able to have a man that I can depend on and, and... Are you asking him to change, or are you asking to get another man? Actually, I don't want anybody else. Um, I would... He's done a lot of change, and he's tried to change. You know, he's, he's done a lot. What can we help you with? I want him to realize that it, this is it. You know, if it doesn't happen this time, I'm gone. <laughs> that what is it? He's got to change. He's got to wake up okay, and I'm realize. I'm hearing the same thing I am with Ahmed and Justine. David's been waiting backstage. Let's hear what David has to say. Come on out, David. David. <laughs> You've heard the way Casey feels. She says she feels trapped. What do you want to say to Casey? That she'll never escape me. She'll never escape. I will find her. I will find the kids. They're not even your kids, man. They... That's fine, though. That's, that's fine. I, he loves I will take children, the responsibility. Right? But your point is you're going to kill her if she leaves you? He didn't say that. Did she, I say that? She really wants someone that. like that. She, he didn't how, say how can you even put words in my mouth? He didn't, how, she, huh? he did not say kill. Did I, he said I will find her. Find her. Like a I'm for predator. No, 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 no. You said she'll never leave you. You explain what that means to us. If it doesn't mean <laughs> you'll uh, kill her, what does it mean? You'll never leave me means what? I, I, I've never heard anyone say that. I don't know what it means. I didn't say she'll never leave me, or she'll, I'll never leave her. It's that. What did you I say? I will find her, and? and I'll have her as for me, for me. What does that mean? I'm having trouble knowing what that means. That means... What does it mean? That means she's his property, and he owns her, and wherever <laughs> she feel like she want to go, he's going to find her. That's and the good. same with her and him, and him and him, and him and her, or her and him. Excuse my friend. <laughs> that's but, good. That's straight. But, but them two on the end. All right. Now, wait a minute. Is that true? Is that true? Yes. Suppose somebody as if big as he away, is says that it's going to happen. <laughs> if she moves away, I'm moving right next door. I don't get that. No, sit down for a minute, friend. <laughs> I don't get that. Explain to me what you're saying. I'm possessed. You're going to follow her wherever she goes and have her for yourself. That is talk out of something like 1600. What Where does that mean? Go? Yeah, what is that? Well, what <laughs> Uh, I, when were you born? I, I, I'm born in the 90s. Right. Just, I'm living the 90s. I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do it. I, I'm gonna do whatever I have to do. What is it you would do? Have. What is it you would do? I'd marry her. Go ahead. Y'all two right there, y'all got problems. Which ones? These two right here at the end, the two men, the two men. Who do y'all think y'all is to beat up on women? If you got to beat a woman up, you's a punk, a straight up punk. Because you got daughters, you got mothers, and you got sisters. And ain't no way in the world you would stand there and let a man do beat you up on your mother. Do you yes, got a man? I do, and I have brothers. And if that punk do you was run your police, mouth to him like you that's do now? Right, and I would dare him to hit you me never... because I will kill him first. <laughs> Why'd they sleep together? Because they're operating between their legs. 
Okay. Oh, <laughs> As I said, I think this is very confusing. I think I'm more confused by the women than by the men. Let's hear from family therapist, Dr. Anne Renee Testa, to see if we can figure out what's going on and what should happen with these people. I'm gonna let you take it. Would you like to start with anyone in particular, Chris and Justine or anyone? Sally, I wanna talk about the women in general first. Okay. Because they're the we ones are that I really wanna see get help. The guys okay. need, definitely do need help. There's no question about it. I need a couple of years with each one of them. I know. <laughs> I know. But I hear so many confused messages. What are the messages the, the women, the women are giving us? I know are scared to death. They really want to leave and they don't have the courage. Even though they're saying the words, they really don't have the courage. I want to be in the car or the limo on the way back and I want to hear the conversations when they leave here. I'm happy that we have a forum here where we can try to give them help. But I hear you saying you want him to help you move. What do you mean? You want Financial. him to help you move. I think you're, you're a mother, right? I am a mother. You're a strong woman? Why do you need him to help you move? Financially, I've worked and I, I can do it on myself. By I myself know right that. Now, and I, need, I got two days to move. I know, but you know something? You can do it without him. And I want you to feel the courage that you can do it without him because you can't stay in this situation any longer. It's okay, and you can do it. It takes a lot of strength and courage, but you can do it. I know you can, but there's so much, there are so many mixed messages do here. Do you think they really want to leave the men? We're not sure. I, in their heart of hearts, no. Nope. And what goes on in the bedroom isn't what love is. That's Anybody right. can have children. Yeah, but see, and okay. can, can I say my, my concern is not only for them, but for the children. And I've heard abuse not only to the women, but to the children. And you can't do that, guys. And I know the dysfunction that you've grown up with. I don't want to hear about it right now. You need help, and you need it now. You had help for six years. You need to go back into therapy, each and every one of you, because if you're brought up with that abuse, it's the only thing you know, it's the only reality you know, and that's what you're going to How continue you doing, and you need to break the cycle. Brought up in abuse. What do you mean you brought up in abuse? You were trying to say I wasn't raised right? I didn't say. Brought I up in said, abuse means that what? the people I was around were abused. Abusive also. I wasn't brought up in abuse. Well, my abusiveness came when I after I got stabbed. Did I that stab I didn't you? So what? Your did mother did. That's, not an, mother. That's not an so excuse. That's not an excuse. So what? You have to stop I don't want to hear about it. Why did you stab you? Stab you? Will you explain that? Well, why she stabbed me? Yeah. She was gonna stab her own daughter. That's she was going to stab her while she was pregnant for my daughter. She was seven months pregnant for my daughter, and she was going to stab her. But she came out to warn me, to tell me I better get her daughter out of the apartment or she's going to kill her. So I told, take, I told her, take it easy, not to get into detail. She said, what are you going to do about it? She stabbed me twice. <laughs> for no reason, I had no, I didn't have no problem with her. She had the problem with her daughter. And, and ever since that, since if her mother did it, I loved her enough to stay with her because anybody else would have left. Anybody else would have left. The me was to make me pay for what my mother did to you. Oh, That's please. the only reason Wait you have to stay That's what me. you think. I could have made your mother pay for it a lot better. Yeah. Okay, hold on. Yes, you got too. Ahmed, if you, uh, if you want to get away from him and you don't want him anymore, why don't you have the strength to tell him to get his arm around you, off of your back? Because he's not touching <laughs> me. Well, that's good. <laughs> and that means that as of today, well, you want me to you're going to be back? able to, to oh, well, then, what? You're then stay out of stay, stay out of my relationship. You're going to be able to get out. Do, what, what, what are you worried about if I got my arm wrapped around her? It's not, it's not around you, I got it wrapped. I don't have my arm wrapped around. You don't worry about who I got the arm wrapped around. But you, you know something. This has nothing to do with who I got my arm wrapped around. Just please, please if you don't want our okay. help. The, 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 the problem here is very, very common. There are over six million women in the United States that have this kind of problem, and I'm so glad you're doing this. You've got to have the courage and the self-esteem. You're sitting here and you're scared to death. And I know that she's shaking because it's what a, is she afraid of? Because she doesn't have enough confidence in herself to go out there and find a man that really can love them. What love really means. <laughs> and they need to take a look at how valuable they are as women, as people, and that they deserve the love that they should have. But you know something, it takes work to begin to understand your value, okay? It takes a lot of work. Are you willing to do that? 
Are you willing to do that? Are you willing to separate? And if you think you're so in love with these guys, why don't you just separate and then come back? Okay? Sure. You think you're going to come back. You're going to find out how valuable you are as people, and you're going to say, this isn't what I want. This isn't what I deserve. How can you sit there and say we're not in love with the kids? What does love mean? What does love mean? Yeah. You tell me. No, no, no. You're I'm the one speaking you. it. You're the one speaking it. You You're the one speaking about love. love. Is, please. How, do, how can you say we don't love the way we want to love? Us men love totally you, different. You, know what you love cannot is? write. It's you cherishing. cannot write flammable on us. You cannot write non-flammable on us. Love, we love, can love. Hear me, please. I'm writing the book too. Write love, the book. Write the book. Love is cherishing, appreciating, and communicating real love. Okay. That's what well we're said. About. Take a break. We'll be right back. Uh, Justine, if you were so scared of Chris, why do you still sleep with him? And you know, he said that you were uh, watching movies with him for four hours. Why don't you let him realize what he lost I'm and not... just totally disconnect yourself from him? Good question. Easier said than done. Great advice from someone who probably has never had a boyfriend. Like, give me a break, man. Just first of all, it's not, first of all it's not about me. It's not about me. And I have a boyfriend, all right? You, you come see You're the one. You're, you're the one quiet. sleeping with him and telling everybody He's how you're so boyfriend. scared of him. Well, then don't talk to you what scared of him. What do you want me to do? Why are you here then? To get some help, counseling, etc. Uh, but, but you can't. Oh, you can't get counseling if you still stay with him. Oh God! And I'll be willing to separate. Yes, sir. Stand up now. Two things. One, I know that you're not gonna like this, but I say that we give Chris a chance. I'm sorry. Is your name Chris? Chris, yeah. Yeah. I mean, honestly, he says he wants to cry. We haven't even given him a chance. It's been, you know, I don't know how long. Thirty minutes. He says he keeps saying it. I say we give him a chance. Also, wait, he disagrees. No, it's not that I disagree, Sally. Um, your, your staff flew in seven people, right? What is the title of this show? The, Zach following through with the whole title. It's, it's, tell them the title of the show again, because the women have not followed through. I'm not against the women. I'm just saying they're not know following through with the title of the here. show. It's exactly what she said. It's, it's not that easy. Precisely. I want to know my okay, <laughs> and Renee, <laughs> will you talk to her? Why did she let him in the hotel room last night, or he let her? It doesn't matter who. Why they sleep together? Because they're operating between their legs. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Okay? Yeah. We have a child. You operate between your legs. No, you can, how can you base an opinion in oh, judgment? Oh, boy. All hell is Well, then maybe zip it. Okay. Um, Ahmed's boyfriend. To write your book. Excuse me. Excuse me. To Ahmed's boyfriend. Yes. I want to know if you loved her so much, why did you sleep with a prostitute? If you were in such love with her. It wasn't like I paid for a prize, something that happened. Why did you sleep I with wandered. somebody else while you were with her if you loved her it, it, it so much? If you're in Everybody love with somebody, to make you don't mistakes. sleep you with other people. You never made a mistake in your life? Your I've right. never I slept with anybody else. I made, re I made a mistake. I made a mistake. That's not you're a mistake that you should have made. Right? You if you loved her so yeah. much, you shouldn't have done it. I made a mistake. Then you don't know what love is. I told her. Go ahead. Everyone's coming down pretty we hard tried on that. Chris. We tried. He treats Justine this way because Justine allows it. Yes. And for and for Danny, I said. I'd like to answer that. I said. I want to know how I treat safe, Justine. Right? Well, if if I treat her badly, I want to know what I do. She's claiming. What do I do other than love her she is and take care of her and pay the bills yeah. and we'll work full time? Okay. Now for Danny and for Casey, yeah, why would you want someone who does head. not want yeah. you? What's wrong, darling? What's wrong? Um, <laughs> you live in a relationship for five years and go on and off and on and off. And it's hard for my kids. They've done it, you know? And They've Renee, done what? What, what do we do about Casey? <laughs> I want her to have enough courage to get out now so that she can start a new life. <laughs> and find a man who is 
is going to care about her the way she has the love to give to a man. And, and you say and you're a psychiatrist. She deserves it. She deserves it. Okay? Each and every each and every one of these people deserve a lot more love than they know they, they that they have right now. Why are you these guys have been brought up with abuse and they don't know yeah, nothing else but abuse. abuse. The women have a very low Brought sense of themselves, abuse. therefore they abuse. don't know that there are guys out there, sure, and they are about. out there that are willing to love and care for you and your children. How can, how can you make and an analysis by hearing 20 I, minutes of us talking? I take care of the children. Okay. I take care of the children. The you children make an analysis by hearing us quiet. How can you make together. that analysis? You don't we threaten do. people when you love them. But, Why yeah. are they so scared? Let's answer that. They question. live under the yoke of being, if you're told every day of your life or every other day, I, I'm going to kill you and I'm going to harm your kids, these women don't have enough confidence in themselves no to say, no, you're no. not, and I'm leaving, okay? And I'm going to find out who I am and then I'm going to decide whether I want you or not. Way to go. We'll be right back. Sorry, I don't think it has much to do with love. They just throw that word around. It has everything in the world to do with control, and no one can control you unless you give them the power to do so. See you next time. Thank you. Everyone.